Okay, folks, welcome to Zicoli, uh, Zicoli update, uh, Zicoli Aspire update number oh, about 386, I think, at the moment. <laughs> I've, uh, I've lost count, but we're in September uh, 2016. I am very privileged to be here with Leah Fenicchiario, the uh, newly re-elected uh, member for Spillet. Spillet, yeah. Spillet, fantastic. We never know what the names of these places no, are. They keep changes, on changing around, change, yeah. which happens to be the uh, the jurisdiction of, uh, or under the jurisdiction, is the Collier's Buyer. So down here today, fantastic to have you here. We're going to ask you a couple of questions in a minute. Everybody knows Amanus Lauer. He just actually asked me whether uh, he looked all right. Amanus, you look fantastic, Thank don't you? you? <laughs> yeah, look beautiful. He was off flicking his hair back, took his sunglasses off. He's a very attractive man. That's fantastic. Have you? And we'll hear from him later. But because uh, I know that that's the stuff you really want to hear about is uh, is what's going on with progress. Mm. But Leah, obviously your first opportunity to come down and yeah. have a look at, uh, at what's going on down here. We got the beautiful. Uh, we got Mike's uh, playground in the uh, in the backdrop back here which he's very proud of. We have established that we'll probably have to lift Mike up in order to be able to reach some of the bars up there, but uh, but we'll get him there. What, what are your thoughts of what you've seen so far? Oh, look, Collier Spire's coming along really well. Every time I come out here, there's more houses, there's more things being done. But certainly this play equipment is the talk of the town. I've been out and about in Collier, obviously, um, my new electorate, and this is all people are talking about at the moment. So we're very excited about completion and uh, having young families getting amongst well, that's nice to hear that everybody's talking about it. Yeah, that's great. That's we do apologise because if you can't quite hear the sound at times, we are on a work site we at the are. moment. <laughs> we don't have to be in high vis. That's the why we're not in there. We're not allowed in there at this point in time. Is that right? That's right. That's yeah. right. How far away is that now? So um, the park that you guys see back there is probably about uh, I'd say eight weeks away from being complete. Yep. Um, we're going through the final stages now of just getting the grass established, and then we're going to hand over to council to do the final right. inspections of them. Um, what you can hear behind you is obviously the spay village that we are finishing up now. So I think the way it's going to work in the next couple of weeks is we're going to probably have our, um, our park opening maybe in about you know, 8 to, to 10 weeks from now and then we'll have the, 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 the spay village open I'd say early next year once all the builders are ready. We'll have a, a big day, get all the, guys, uh, all, the, all the builders involved, get you guys involved, get you Leah involved, you know. So we can count on your support there. I'll be there. <laughs> Fantastic, that's good, that's good. Yeah, so exciting times. I mean, the, the park, as you can see, the orange park, we call it. Yeah. Um, it's come across. Talk, talk back there, Havana. Oh, sorry. Nice to hear you. <laughs> it's come, uh, come along beautifully. Um, it's all, it's all done and built now. There's flying foxes on the one side. That um, I've seen people actually go on, which you're not supposed to, by the way, because it's not formally open. Uh, we'll let you know when it opens up, and we'll invite you all along. You know, come and come and join us at the grand opening. So. Yeah, and then do you want to talk progress on the site itself? Yeah, definitely. One of the yeah. one of the big topics at the moment. Obviously, we got one bay, one B open and building, and uh, I see a house over there today that's already got a roof on it. Uh, so, which is fantastic, it's flying along. Um, obviously, you're about to have a lot of uh, new voters in your yeah. electorate, so you'll be Excellent. knocking on their doors. I will be. Right, fantastic. <laughs> the um, and uh, and obviously A1B1 is coming up towards completion. Everybody is asking me the questions on that. Where are we up to with it? Yeah. So look, um, A, A and B, business A and B, um, they are currently constructing it. Initially, our, our, we anticipate that we'll be finished by the end of the third quarter. At this point, it's looking more and more likely it's going to be probably a mid to late in the fourth quarter. Um, we had some issues in terms of trying to get some of our services in the ground and, and, and a couple of redesigns, unfortunately, we had to do. But um, as we're saying, the guys are working through it. I, I told the builders this last night, we bought $1.8 million worth of new in, uh, machinery just to get the, the, the plant and the, the, the equipment sorry, in, the, in the ground quicker, you know. Mm. So we are committed, we are working as hard as we can. I had a pre-start meeting at 6.30 this morning with guys on site and I've got 40 guys there who are working their asses off to try and get stuff done as quickly as possible. So I can assure all the purchasers out there, we are trying our damnedest to get it done as soon as we can. Now, to, put, to put that in perspective, $1.8 million worth of machinery, I believe that's almost double your budget this year. Is that right? Because I think they said $1 million you had this year. And, and everyone was going, whoa, that's a lot of money. So $1.8, that's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, it makes life easier, it makes it faster. So, And then the other thing that's unfortunately, I, I wish we could turn the camera around, but just down the bottom for those of you who's uh, bought in stage two, um, we've started construction about two weeks ago. Um, construction's going real well. The guys have cleared all of it. The earthworks is currently going on. We're anticipating that that one will probably um, finish uh, in, in the first quarter, late in the first quarter next year, um, that we'll be finishing construction on that one. And obviously, we, we are now currently going through the application for stage three, which is behind me on that side. Um, so we're very excited. And 
to the left of me on that side is, is where the school is going to start uh, some of their works. Uh, I believe in, this, in the November they're starting some of their, their geotech, some of their clearing, and, they, and they're already designing that. So as we speak, they are designing it. Um, and that we've been told they want to open in 2018. So, yeah, I mean, pretty exciting times. A lot of things happening. So, fantastic. Anything else we need to tell people about? I don't think there is, is there? No, look, I'm hoping that, um, you know, given the outcome that we'll get now with, with, with our civilian applications going through on the 19th of October, I'm hoping there's going to be more information we can tell the, the potential purchases and our current purchases about what our landscaping is going to look like. Obviously, yeah, you and I spoke and I've spoken to you guys and I've certainly said this on the camera as well, is we are, are committed to try and retain as much of the vegetation as we can. We, we're committed to try and deliver a fantastic town centre that has a potentially a coal, potentially a woolly, potentially a, a big box customer in there that, that we can drive, you know, coffee shops, that kind of stuff as well. So we're working through all those little all those little design features that we need to, to be able to answer the council and all the other authorities to be able to deliver those those facilities. So yep. we're going getting there, getting there. All right. So just a quick snapshot back on that A one B one mid 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 to late this uh, fourth quarter, yeah, mid to late fourth quarter. Um, two <coughs> two A speculating. Two A started. So we late late first quarter next year. Late first quarter. Yep. Yeah. Assuming, of course. We're in a place, it tends to rain here occasionally, <laughs> and it's, uh, it looks like it's about to rain now, so we might have to run away, but uh, but obviously that does hold things up yeah, as we go right. through. Yeah. That's right. Wait, most importantly, timeline on the park opening? Yep. Um, about 8 to 10 weeks. 8, eight, to, eight to 10, 10 weeks. weeks, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Depending awesome. on how fast the grass grows. If the grass grows faster, then it grow faster, then yeah. it'll open soon. <laughs> all right, all right. And, uh, and Leah, just wanted to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank no you. mean feat being re-elected in, uh, in the current climate. Yes. And uh, one of only two. So I'm not sure if that makes you, you know, 50% of the party or what it does. It does, but it's the, it does. It's the deputy leader of opposition. I am, I yeah, am. Fantastic. But, uh, you know, first and foremost, I'm the member for Spillet. So <laughs> if you have any issues, please don't hesitate to contact me. Fabulous to have you here and we'll look forward to having you Thank involved you. down I'll the track. Thank you. Yeah. Amanis, thanks a lot, mate. Thanks, folks. Catch up with you again soon.